Marty Schwartz here with GuitarJams.com. Uh, I remember you know, when I got my first iPhone, uh, I remember you just right off the bat seeing all the apps that were starting to develop and I remember thinking to myself, man, someone's got to make some kind of app um, where you can plug your guitar into it and use it as uh, like a guitar pod or even like a practice amp. And I think there's a few out there, but the one I'm talking about right now is by Agile Partners. And they made um, probably my favorite guitar app, which is the Guitar Tab Toolkit. And they created this really cool amp simulator for, the, um, for your portable device, your iPhone. I have mine on the iPad just so we can get a better look at it. Um, but basically, it works like a pod or an amp simulator. And they went in business, or they partnered up with PV to create this uh, little device here called the uh, Amp Kit Link. And the other one is a, a quarter inch jack for your guitar. And then up top here, it goes in to your portable device. So what you have is this output here. Basically, what you can do is you can plug headphones right into there and start practicing away with all these cool amp presets that give you really cool different sounds to mess with. And there's a lot of features on this app as well. But So basically, you could just plug your headphones right into there and you've got now a portable guitar amp to practice. What I did though is I just used a cable, just obviously so you guys could hear it, I have it plugged into, you know, what most people use as like a portable MP3 player or a thing that, that you hook your, um, you know, iPod into to play your music. I'm using this as our amp just so we don't get fooled by plugging it into a guitar amp and getting some of that guitar, real guitar amp tone. This is all simulated. All right, so then right now I'm looking at this amp kit. It's quite reflective, so I apologize for that. But what you have is you, you, you've got a tuner, you've got... Um, you've got recordings that come with it, like drum beats that you can practice along with, as well as you can actually record your own ideas. And, um, you know, so it's a great tool for writing when you're just out and about and you come up with an idea, you can just hit record and, and go right to town to document your riff and remember it, or to practice over it, or, you know, to just be creative. So what we have here, though, this is, there's a free amp kit that you can get, and then there's the paid the paid one, the one that, you know, the fancier one. I've got the fancier one here, and it's got all these really cool presets. Um, rock and roll rhythm, a fine vintage crunch, AC Dirty, acoustic classic, alien homeworld, Captain Crunchy, cavernous, clean and easy, dynamically dirty, ethereal warmth, phasers, fuzzies, Lots of different things. So let's just try a few. This one is called a snappy acoustic. You know, like I said, this is just coming out of a stereo. I mean, but I had, I was messing around. I plugged it into the little MP3 jack on my car. So I was using my car stereo as, as you know, an amp simulator, which is pretty fun. Metal on a mountaintop. Oh boy. <laughs> This one's called King of Cleans. And actually, I'm not turned up very loud, so I can turn the stereo up here. All the way, actually, and see what we get. Just like, you know, any, if anyone's used GarageBand or, you know, Pro Tools, things, you know, different, you know, real music applications, 
There's settings on here. There's lots of things to dig in, like different mic configurations will give you different tone. Um, there's a lot of things that you can go in. You can set up your own amp sounds, you know, with, with all these different, um, you know, pedals and, and different amp heads. So I'm going through the amp heads here. Um, and then another thing that they do is they actually have um, a store where you can buy different effects and go through and, and you know, and then you've got these different mic configurations. So they've thought of a lot of cool stuff, especially the fact of, you know, recording your riffs on the go. Plus, I think it's really cool for someone that maybe, you know, bought their first electric, electric guitar and they have an iPhone. You know, instead of spending a hundred bucks or multiple hundreds of dollars to buy a little practice amp, if you have an iPhone, um, you could get the free app and this little eye link and you're, you're jamming, you're playing. And I believe this is a somewhere between twenty and thirty dollars um, to hook your guitar up to your mobile device. So